Hi everyone, welcome back, it's Anna. All right, so I wanted to show you what I picked up at a rummage sale and an estate sale this weekend. I don't usually post haul videos so close together, but I thought it would be a fun thing to share to show you kind of what I like to pick up for stationary uh, purposes. And yeah, I just wanted to give you a closer look at just kind of where my mindset is when I go look for ephemera. Yesterday, there happened to be a couple rummage sales close together while we were in a, uh, in a certain neighborhood. So we stopped by and I only picked up this. No, wait, I did pick up one other item, but I don't have to show you. Um, but it's this pack of uh, recipe cards, vintage recipe cards, and it came with like this with like wooden apples on it. I'm assuming this is like maybe a bookmark for a cookbook. Either way, those two, like these two things will be perfect for a junk journal that I've been collecting things for over the years. I've been working on this collection of things for, I don't know, five or six years. I didn't want to go out and just buy a whole bunch of stuff. I've just been kind of slowly accumulating for this junk journal. So if I come across something and it works, I'll get it. This was 25 cents for all of this. And um, I thought that was a good deal. This was also 25 cents. This one I got at a different rummage sale. And it's this big book, about this thick. And what it is, is the Nine Symphonies of Beethoven in Score. The reason why I picked this up was because everything is shrunken down to a quarter of the page size. And I've never seen sheet music printed in this way. I am not a musician, so I don't know exactly what the term is for something like this or what the purpose of having such small print of this is. Maybe it's just to collect. But I liked this because it's kind of shrunken down so I can have a whole sheet of music if I just cut out a quarter of this and use it for collaging in my journals. I can cut out half the page, fold it in half, and kind of turn that into its own little insert for like a junk journal. But it's got all nine symphonies and I thought this was really unique and it was 25 cents. So I couldn't really pass it up. Plenty of music sheets to cut out. And this book, I believe, is like from the 1930s. 1935 is copyrighted. copyrighted. And uh, I thought that was a deal I couldn't pass up for 25 cents. That's what I like to pick up is just rifling through old books and seeing what I can tear out. And then these things I got at an estate sale today. Because it was Sunday, everything was also 20% off on top of the listed price. And the first thing I got was this little dish. It was only $2. And I wanted something that I could have sitting on my desk where I can put my dip pens on. So if it does, you know, get inky, I wouldn't really have to worry about the ink covering up a beautifully painted design on a dish. It's got a nice patina on it. It's got little legs on the bottom. It's heavy. And it just kind of goes with the aesthetic of my desk. So I thought that'd be perfect to just kind of rest my dip pens on. And it's perfect timing because then I can use it for Jane Austen July. So that's the purpose of this little dish. And then I got this little box of slides, color slides of Hong Kong. I love finding slides and adding them to my journals when I can. And this was a complete set. The other ones that they had for, I think they had like ones from Japan, they were kind of incomplete. This was one of the two that had a complete set of slides inside. And they're also color, which is awesome because I haven't seen a whole lot of color slides. At least I haven't come across any. Usually mine are like black and white or sepia. 
and uh, I thought this would be fun to just add to my journals. I have relatives in Hong Kong too, and I have good memories of being there. And I love that it comes in this beautiful packaging. I've never gotten slides that come with the original packaging, so I thought that'd be really cool. Cool box and a cool little thing of ephemera to use in my journals. And that was $8, which is a little more than what I'd want to pay for, but you know, wanted the splurge. And then these, I originally only had four or five in my hand. So you didn't have a price on them, but what they are, are Beach's Common Sense Traveler's Expense Books for Monthly Reporting. And it's copyright 1940, Beach Publishing Company, Detroit, Michigan. So I'm assuming this is maybe for a traveling salesman because it says how to use this book on this side. And then it counts from the first day of the month all the way to the 31st of the month. Like that. And there's an itemized list of things that you'd be spending your money on, like postage, telegraph, phones, fare from, and then to the baggage, oil, gas, storage. This is so fun. Like all the different pages in here, there's a memoranda and several pages for collections here. And then a summary page at the back, cash summary, and then they have a calendar. And the books that I have all have a calendar from 1956. They vary, so it's 1956 to 1965, which I think is really fun. And the back looks like that. I think there's a couple that have different designs. Oh, see, they have a different design on the back. They didn't have a price on them originally, so I only had four or five. When we got to the checkout, uh, the estate manager, the estate sales manager uh, said they were two for a dollar. So I had my husband go grab a few more. And because they were also 20% off of that, I got several. So one will go into the junk journal that I've been collecting items for. And then I thought, I would have several to be able to just pull pages out of and use it for collaging and junk journaling. But when I come across a good deal like this, I like to take advantage of it. And I, uh, you know, just have those things on hand because that's really fun supplies to use for journaling. And uh, I'm very excited about that find right there. And then lastly, at this estate sale, I picked up this, which, the L has been, I think, I think it's an L, has been rubbed off. This is Lando Optical Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Comes with its own leather case. And I thought it was a magnifying glass. And that's why I bought it. This was $12. Very unique with a snap closure. But when I got home, I found this little thing right here, this little lever clip, clip or whatever you call it. And it turns out to be magnifying or reading spectacles. How fun is that? I got it purely because I thought it was very cool. The aesthetic kind of went with my desk and I thought it was a mini magnifying glass for travel or something. But how cool. And it just unlocks like that. So for $12, this was a really fun find. I've never seen anything like this, the beautiful handle. So you can put it on a chain or something, but I loved that. That was a, just a fun little surprise and it comes with its own little case. And that was probably one of my best finds uh, so far, very unique. And that was also 20% or yeah, 20% off and I would say that this was a very successful weekend of thrifting. If you have any questions, let me know down below. And thank you so much for watching.